I never do two hauls this close together. Hi, Shannon Rowe Jackson here from Caution R Set Play, and today I have another small Blick haul to show you. I just did a haul a couple weeks ago, and so I never usually do hauls this close together, but I just finished a really um, detailed colored pencil piece and ended up having to order a bunch of new pencils, and I kind of did something that I never thought I would do when I ordered something that I said I never would. So... I thought that I would show you because it's something that some of you have requested. So let's see some of the goodies I got in this haul. So the first few things I'm going to show you are the pencils that I ordered to replace the pencils that I had used a lot of in my most recent piece. And I got mostly Derwent Light Fast. So I've got the Van Dyke Brown, the Brown Ochre, Grass Green, Forest. I use a lot of this color. I love this color. I don't know if it's focusing. It's kind of dark and dreary here today. You might hear the rain in the background. Banana. I don't know if any of this is focusing. <clears throat> Turquoise green. Merlot. Blue violet. Grass green. <clears throat> Nightshade. And light bronze. And then I also got a Kaput Mortem Polychromos because I go through this color a lot. Next couple things were things that I had in my cart from before that I wasn't able to get when I had my gift card. So this is a Peel and Sketch Charcoal, which I've been wanting to try. Lisa Clow has been using them a lot on her channel and I just thought it looked really interesting. I got the soft one. It's by Generals. And... um yeah, I thought that it looked pretty interesting and it might be easier than having to sharpen charcoal pencils. It's one reason why I don't use my charcoal pencils as often as I should because they break a lot while sharpening. So I'm hoping that this will help. And I also got some of the Blick Studio pastels or they're, they're the charcoal ones anyways. It's 12 charcoals. And I just wanted to see if these are really dark. I have a hard time finding any really dark charcoal. Like, I like my charcoal to be black, black, black. And around here, like at Michael's and stuff, I have a really hard time finding really black charcoal. So I'm going to open it and I'm going to see. Oh, yeah, those are nice. Those are pretty black. So hopefully that will work. I haven't worked in charcoal a lot lately, but I used it a lot when I was in school. And I used up a lot of my charcoal stock while I was in school. So this is kind of to replace some of the charcoal that I used up while I had class. The next couple things, you saw some of this in my last video too. It is some of the Golden High Flow Acrylics. And these were just a couple other colors that I needed to replace. So I have the Burnt Sienna and the Ultramarine Blue. The next thing is some of the Gamblin Solvent Free Fluid Medium. And this is supposed to, from what I read, I could use this in the same way I would use liquid when oil painting. I am trying to go solvent free in my oil painting, which is why I haven't done a lot of oil painting lately because I'm in the process of replacing a lot of my supplies. I started getting really bad headaches when I was working with the oil supplies that I was using before and I don't have the best ventilation in my studio at the moment, though we're working on that as well. But obviously solvent free is the way to go. It's a little bit healthier anyway. So I'm going to try this out and see if I can glaze with it and if it helps speed drying time. And yeah, so you will eventually see this in an upcoming video, but I, I don't have the project planned just yet. But the next thing I got, which I've been wanting to get for a while 
is an ink stone. And this is usually used for sumi ink or sumi ink sticks to kind of melt them down. But I kind of want to try it <laughs> with my ink tense blocks. I hope that's not too, I don't know, sacrilege. I don't know. <laughs> I But now that I have it, though, it's so nice. Like, it's so heavy and, like, so nice that I kind of want to try sumi ink because I'm a crazy person. And I've tried liquid sumi ink before, but I haven't tried the sticks. And you know me, I like to try every art supply that's out there. But I got this specifically so that I could wet it, wet it down and then use my ink tents blocks on it and kind of make, like, a watercolor mixture out of it to work with. And I love it. It's so, like solid and hefty so that'll be a fun tool to add to my toolbox when working with ink tents okay so this next thing this is the main event this is why I'm filming this video this is the thing that I swore I would never buy the logical me still feels like yeah I probably shouldn't have done it but it's I don't know I'll just show you I got a 24 set of the Holbein colored pencils. And a lot of people have requested this. It's been requested numerous times on my channel to review these, to buy these, to try them, because people rave over them. But I was always adamantly against it because at the time they didn't sell them in the US and they're pretty pricey. They're a pretty expensive pencil. And so I only got the 24 set because I knew that the largest set, first of all, I was not going to spend $500 on their largest set. It's not going to happen. That will never happen. But also, their larger set has a lot of pencils that I know inevitably will be not light fast. Like, it's a beautiful range. They have a lot of awesome pastels and a lot of awesome, like, really, really bright colors. But by nature, those colors usually aren't light fast. So I'm not going to spend $500 on a full set of pencils when most of them I'm just going to have to you know, get rid of. So I got the 24 set because I could see in the picture that these ones, none of these were fugitive because I could see the light fast ratings on the side. And I do have a, I found a chart online that has their light fast ratings and it's all in Japanese. So it's kind of hard to tell, but there are some pencils that I know by nature are light fast usually white and black are light fast and I saw that those had the three stars on them so I could tell that those are probably the light fast ones and then other pencils that I know normally because I have a lot of sense of uh, sets of pencils I'm always going through and weeding out non light fast ones so I've gotten familiar basically with which ones are normally light fast and normally not and so I was able to see that these all have three and two stars so they're all mostly light fast or acceptably light fast in uh, my estimation and so that's why I went with this set and this is my first time actually opening it and it is pretty these are pricey though they really are and I actually went through and I wrote down some of the comparisons with the brands that I normally use and for their 24 set it's $78.72, whereas the Derwent Lightfast 24 set is $59.07, which is $19.65, you know, cheaper than the Holbein. And the Lightfast are a pretty expensive pencil to begin with. And then the Luminance, they only have a 20 set. They don't have a 24 set, but there's this $55.19, which is about $2.76 each and so if they had a 24 set it would still run around $66.24 which is still way cheaper than the whole bind set and of course the polychromo set is only $32.80 however the thing that I found really interesting about this because the Derwent Lightfast is probably the the most expensive pencil that I currently use their single pencils open stock the Lightfast are $4.10 a piece, whereas these ones open stock are only $3.29. So if you're only going to buy open stock and just pick colors that you want, these are actually cheaper than the Lightfast. However, the set is much more expensive than if you wanted to pick up a 24 set. And I'm only going according to the 24 set because that's what I bought. I didn't want to, I didn't go through and compare everything else. But yeah, 
I, it is much, it's kind of funny because you get a really good deal. If you're buying the Derwent Lightfast, you're getting a really good deal by getting their set because it is $1.64 cheaper per pencil if you get the set than if you get them open stock. Whereas the Holbein, if you get them open stock as opposed to getting them in the set, you're only saving one cent per pencil by getting them in the set than getting them open stock. But I thought that was interesting. So set wise, they're definitely way more expensive, but if you want to just, if you're the type of person who only goes through and buys the colors that you want, it's really not that bad of a deal because they're 81 cents cheaper per pencil in open stock than the light fast. And I just thought that that was kind of interesting. And they're actually cheaper than the luminance when you're going open stock. The luminance open stock are more expensive than any of the pencils here listed. So... Yeah, it's kind of weird how it fluctuates like that. But anyways, I just thought that was interesting because I know a lot of people are questioning the price on them. And it's definitely expensive to get them in the set, but I thought that their their open stock price was quite interesting to look at. And the reason why I noticed that is because I had just bought a bunch of the Derwent Lightfast open stock at $4.10 a piece. And these are the Blick prices. I haven't gone through and looked at any of the other prices. But I do kind of want to swatch... Let me see if I have any similar colors here with the colored pencils that I have sitting around. I'm going to swatch these next to each other. I didn't plan on swatching anything, but I'm going to swatch these next to each other. Okay, so this is my, it's just a Canson or a, what is it? Canson XL mixed media paper. I don't usually do my colored, finished colored pencil work on it, but it's what I have here. So we're going to use that to swatch. So I'm just curious to see what they are like. Like I said, these have the light fast ratings right on them, the name. They come pre-sharpened. I do like that. And they have like a nice finish to them. Quite similar to the polychromos really, except the line comes further down and they feel a lot more lightweight. So I'm going to try, I'm going to do the polychromos. Just want to see how they feel in comparison to one another. The Polychromos and the Dormant Lightfast are the two pencils that I use the most in all my artwork. And I supplement with some other things. I don't use my Luminance as much. Those are not down here right now. I rarely use those, so I won't compare them to those. Though they're an expensive pencil, and so that's why I want to kind of compare the price. Because I know a lot of people love the Luminance as well. And I never invested in a whole set of the Luminance because of the price. And so that's kind of why I wanted to do that price comparison there. All right. And I don't really have a close enough brown in the light fast ones that I just bought. So I'm just going to use this. And the light fast, of course, I mean, look how dark that lays down already. But they feel a little bit waxier than the polychromos and I don't have my sharpener down here so they're none of them are as sharp as I normally would do this is just how they came sharpened so but these feel waxier they lay down a little quicker but they don't get into the grooves of the paper as fast because they're a little bit waxy and they're not it's just not as sharp because it's softer but they are considered an oil based pencil and I'm honestly I don't remember if the whole bind are oil based or considered wax based, I'm not sure if I, I don't, I honestly don't know. But I will be doing an actual whole bind review. This is just me playing around because I've been wanting these pencils forever. But as I said, I was not going to spend the price on them if I couldn't get them in the US. And they finally came to Blick, and that's the only reason why I bought them. I didn't want to have to mess around with having them shipped in and the prices and I don't know they're still very expensive though like surprisingly expensive at Blick hmm they definitely feel harder than the light fast but I feel like they feel a little waxier than the polychromos I have heard they're a lot like the polychromos 
but they're not getting, obviously the, the tip isn't as sharp as I would like. It's not taking me too long to build up layers though. Hmm. So far so good. It feels comfortable in the hand. They feel about the same width as the polychromos, but a little bit more lightweight. And of course the Derwent's going to be a little thicker. They're always a little thicker. Hmm. But yeah, so, so far they seem pretty on par. I won't know for sure until I create a piece and you'll see that in the future. But I was so excited about getting them that I wanted to show you and I still can't believe I did it. Like I said, I was not going to do this. <laughs> People have asked me on my channel and I have said, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> but once they came to Blick, I'm like, okay, that's a game changer because I know I can get them open stock if I need to re replace pencils. I know that they're able to be sold in the U.S. now, so clearly all the testing has been done that needs to be. And then I was super excited when I was looking at the pictures of them on Blick and could see that they actually have their light fast rating on the side of them, which is important to me. But yeah, um, that's it. I just wanted to share with you. I finally got them. I broke down and I did it. So those of you who have been asking, you're going to see a, a full piece with these in the near future. I'm not exactly sure when, but probably in a couple weeks. And yeah, so those are my current goodies that I got. You'll be seeing them in a future video. This was a short one. I will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please hit subscribe. Also, if you're interested in seeing more of my artwork, I'm on social media, so check out the links in the description below.